Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a video on my updated foundation routine slash how I conceal my acne scarring. As you can tell, I have tons on my forehead. I have this ugly one here right here on my chin, on my cheek here. It's been crazy, crazy breakouts on my face. It's kind of had slowing, slowing down, so not so much as many on my forehead. These are just scars left over from things that just don't want to go away right now. So, also I wanted to mention that I have my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm going to be putting my Snapchat below. Please follow me on my social medias if you want to see a little bit more makeup stuff. Especially Snapchat if you want to see a little bit more into my life. I'm trying to get a little bit more, you know, a little bit more going on my little Snapchat thing, you know. So, yeah, you guys, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and uh, continue to watch. Alright, so I'm going to pin my little hair back, you know, get that out the way. So, first, I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever, um, what is this, the Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This one is in the shade Caramel. I love to use this all over my face. Sometimes I use this just as a primer and sometimes I use it with another primer but today I'm just going to be using it as a primer and I like to use this kind of because it kind of gives my skin some color without it being too much like you know to kind of like I don't know you know just to warm my, there you go warm my skin up a little bit which I really love this and I'm not using it with a primer today because um, my skin has been very very dry lately so yeah my skin has been very dry so this kind of is good just for even now like toning it a little bit and just to warm me up so I don't really need nothing to control my oils because my skin has been super dry so next I'm using as a corrector you guys have seen me use this a couple of times before and this is the Mac studio conceal and perfect duo I'm just gonna use this orange shade for right now I might use this shade for my concealer but I don't know so I'm gonna be using this shade and this is in pure orange I believe you can buy it on its own I forget how much this costs but I'm just gonna be using this under my eyes of course on these ugly as acne scars around my mouth area trust me you guys I only do this for like special occasions type like I'm not a person to sit here and conceal like I mean correct all the time most of the time I just use this and go but my skin has been really acting up so I really need a little extra um, if you know what I mean so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out with this damp beauty blender for lighter skin tones, I suggest maybe using a peach color. Um, Makeup Forever even makes a peach one and a pink one if you want to use it kind of to warm up your skin or give you a tone you a little bit, um, which works amazing. So this may give me that little oompa loompa ish vibe that I always talk about, but it's not going to be that bad. Trust me, because that foundation and everything is going to go on and it's going to be Perfect. And already that did tone it down a little bit as far as my um, acne spots and things. So as for my foundation, foundations today, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever, I mean Makeup Forever, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. This is in the color Truffle and I'm going to be using my Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops. Um, you guys, these are like a must have for any makeup collection because I'm telling you, you can get this to make a foundation lighter, darker, to fit you like any any sort of way any foundation that didn't work for you before you can use it now also sometimes I use this for spot treatment a little bit like for a spot coverage because this is so full coverage this is pure pigment it is not meant to be used alone although some people do use it alone you can mix this with your moisturizer like primer whatever I'll tell you it is the best and to apply those I'm gonna be using where you at, boo? Where you at? Where you at? So yeah, I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs Face 2 brush. You guys, this is like the best brush of life foundation on top of my Artiste brush. It is a bit pricey, but it is totally worth it. So, Truffle is a tad bit dark for me. A tad bit. It is very dark for me. So, I'm just going to go. Although, I love the coverage of these Anastasia 
stick foundations I might get another color because it is $25 it's like it's really not that big of a deal and for my cover effects drops I'm just gonna shake it up shake it up and I'm gonna put a couple of drops on the back of my hand mine's just getting a little run out so I need to get a new one so a little bit of these custom cover drops goes a long way and we are just gonna blend down and as you can see how much it has covered up already um, which is so bomb so yeah you guys if you can see how much this has covered up it is pretty amazing this combination I absolutely love and it really helps with my oily skin I'm not oily at all with these two foundations mixed together this thing is like perfect for me I love this so now since I'm mixing things I'm gonna mix my morphe concealer which is in the color frappe and my LA girl pro concealer which is in the color fawn and I'm just gonna use that for some highlighting under my eyes and concealing So I like to blend in the LA Girl Concealer first and then I go in with a little bit of uh, the Morphe Concealer on top. I like that concealer but I don't really enjoy it by itself for some reason. Um, I don't know, I think it's too creamy or what it may be but it's just a good topper for my regular concealer. So again I'm just going to do a couple of dots of Frappe. And I specifically keep this just for under my eye. So now that I have my concealer blend in, I'm going to go in with a little bit of this Ben Nye powder. And this is in the color um, Camel. I've been using a little bit of this for under my eyes. Just to try stuff like a little bit of something different. Because the Laura Mercier was giving me issues as far as being too white and... I didn't want to do with that. Now as far as powder, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D, the Lock It Tattoo Powder Foundation in the color Deep 74. And I really like this powder, it's become like one of my absolute favorites. And I'm going to be using my MAC 107 or 187 brush, it rubbed off. And I'm just going to be putting it in like this. So this is the finished result as far as my foundation goes and how I conceal my darkness and color correct and all that goodness. So I'll be right back. I'm going to do the rest of my face and I will see you in a little bit. So yeah you guys this is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed my video. Um, if you have any questions or anything about the certain colors or the products that I use I will have them all listed below. Um, leave me some comments. Um, give this video a big thumbs up. Again if you're watching this video subscribe, subscribe subscribe if you haven't already and again thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye